it is a trajectory where the equality between male and female is growing but it's not growing by females fighting for their rights and men trying to deny them or the other way around men fighting for their rights and women trying to deny them it's not about what comes from the outside it's about what happens in that connect with the soul or the source and its impulse and acting from that impulse <laughs> In the previous answer, you said something about true equality between males and females. So I wanted to know a little bit more about that. What does that actually mean in terms of the practicalities of the world? Because there's been a lot of talk about equality and women fighting for equal rights. So in what sense did you mean the true equality between males and females? If you look at the history of human kind and you go back way back I don't know if you've ever heard of that sculpture which is called Venus of Willendorf you haven't so it's this very big stone sculpture a depiction of a woman with very large pendulous breasts and she's big you know and the sculpture comes from a time when you could say females ruled the world and it was a period in human history where the female was a very mysterious creature to the male i mean suddenly she just bore a child you know she was carrying a living being within her and it grew within her and she grew with it and suddenly that living being came out of her the connection between the males input into that and the actual appearance of this new child this new small human was not really made so the females were looked up to they they were this mysterious powerful beings to the males and that was the time in human history when females actually dominated males in a lot of the ancient cultures you have these very very powerful goddesses like kali for example in the indian subcontinent is one of those figures of extreme power durga also they destroyed the demons they were these powerful female symbols and they are still alive in the indian subcontinent but the greek versions of them the roman versions of them and the norse versions of them have not survived those times as these females became more and more powerful and dominated the males there was a reaction to that which came with the settlers that followed that whole period of hunter gatherers and the males started to dominate because their strength was greater their physical strength was greater that was needed to protect what had been acquired which was not really required during the hunter gatherer period so suddenly you had a shift and the tables were turned and it was the males that dominated everything and created these great patriarchal systems which also supported that multiplication of wealth of societies so you had one system of domination being replaced by another system of domination and now we move into an era where there will be true equality and that true equality comes as humankind moves from a conceptually dominated society into more transformative societies it's an entire paradigm shift it's a shift in consciousness it's in the new age terminology it would be called the age of aquarius that's new agey stuff but it's got something to it also it is a shift from the conceptually dominated living systems into transformatively dominated systems where 
societies don't work anymore based on reasoning and logical linear processes but there are supra rational processes that take over occult processes that take over your average human being will start behaving very differently than when they are led by the conceptual by reasoning and by logic and part of that transformative process and part of that paradigm shift is also the process of self realization which becomes more and more valuable and more and more important for human kind because the processes of god realization will be left behind so it's no more about realizing the cosmic divine but more about realizing the terrestrial corporeal integrated inner divine the antar guru in sanskrit the antar atman the soul within the source as human kind moves increasingly towards that source within the awareness of how to deal with the other increases if you go within and you start to tune into the source rather than tuning out to the gods or to a god or to any source of power outside yourself you will start to gain a strength which is unknown to you till that point because you haven't known your inner strength because you've been relying on what is outside family state god so you move inward and as you move inward you start to obey the impulse of the soul and the soul will impulse you to act with the other in such a way as to increase harmony the interesting thing about all of this is that the soul in a sense has its own physiology and that physiology is that it has its male side and its female side you know i don't know if you have ever heard of this concept of ardhanaishwit which is the concept of half male half female in cosmic form in its divine expression and what is very interesting and this is new knowledge and will grow as human kind advances along that path of this paradigm shift is that when it is a female in a female body the soul or the source will impulse her to be able to handle and deal with the male outside and so she will be able to function more and more in harmony with that male outside and that is what will lead to true equality there will be neither the one nor the other that will dominate and if it is a male the same applies the source will impulse in such a way that he can function with the female outside because human males and females don't really understand each other it's like the male is on one side of that wall and the female on the other side of that wall and they are more scoring each other and if they miss one beat or one thing they may not even understand what the other one is saying that falls away as a person goes increasingly into self realization so if i were to say to you close your eyes try to tune in to the source and see how are you going to speak to your partner who's a male let's say you would know how to exactly deal with him increasingly it's not something that happens overnight it's a process so that there is more harmony in the home in those four walls and then that is how true equality will grow so it is a trajectory where the equality between male and female is growing but it's not growing by females fighting for their rights and men trying to deny them or the other way around men fighting for their rights and 
women trying to deny them. It's not about what comes from the outside. It's about what happens in that connect with the soul or the source and its impulse and acting from that impulse. And that's why it's so important to learn how to connect with the soul, to learn those processes. Because if you can get along with the men around, you've solved 95% of all your problems. And the same applies to men. So if you want to live with a little bit more harmony, go inward. We are at the cusp now of a paradigm shift. Actually, we are in the paradigm shift already. And we are at the edge of the new era when this equality will happen this move from the conceptual human to the transformative human will happen. All of this is happening. In the past, there were a few people, the enlightened ones, who were able to actually pierce into the experience of soul. They did it outside the system, they did it in the cosmic. And there they realized these two faces, the male and female, face of the Supreme Soul. Now, as the future appears, and as we move into that new paradigm, we move inward. And when we move inward, we find that that which was out there is in as well. And now, we don't have to pierce through anything, we just have to go with the impulse. We have to teach ourselves how to listen to the signal beyond all the noise of the ego and all the lies, the ego lie. We have to go beyond that. So it's not a very complex thing, it's actually quite simple. Tune in, listen and act. And even if you make a mistake, it's still better to tune in and act from that than not to do it at all. Six month long Maharishika Bharat Dharma Yatra. 108 days of free open to all satsangs. 10,000 kilometers of travel by road. Venues across Bharat Varsh. The existential suffering of thousands reduced. Countless lives transformed forever. Become part of this chapter of history in the making. Maharishika with her Sangha will travel from the ancient lands of Parashurama Bhumi in Goa to Mumbai, from Mumbai to the Himalayas to Rishikesh and beloved Ma Ganga. From Rishikesh crossing to the east, to the land of the great goddess in Bengal, then down south, to the sacred mountain of Arunachala. And from Tiruvannamalai over Mumbai, back to Rishikesh, encircling Bharatvarsh, the cradle of Sanatana Dharma, Please donate immediately to support Maharishika's unrelenting call to realize self and act from source. Donate for this revolutionary teaching to reach millions. The teaching that connects you to the Guru within, the source, the truth, the Maha Antaratman. Click on the link in the description box below to make your generous contribution to this epic yatra. Invite punya, invite grace into your life as your ancestors did. Support the human quest for the truth.